I'm Dr. Dang Mun Khan. And I'm Judy. Welcome to LabTech Engineering. If you are looking for a way to make an affordable dye face pelletizer that can produce a good shape and high quality pellets, LabTech Engineering Companies is a good choice for you. The machine has a very modern look and compact design. It is equipped with a round-shaped die plate to ensure that the pressure and output distribution is balanced for every die hole. It can also be horizontally installed to either a single screw or a twin screw extruder. The die are available in different hole size and the number from 8 to 40 holes. We can also design a custom die to fit with your specific need. All die head here is covered with a safety guard to protect the operator during high heat operation. The rapidly rotating knife has a universal joint design consisting of two to four blades that are spring-loaded. The size and the shape of the pellets can be adjusted even while the machine is running by carefully adjusting the amount of force applied between the pelletizing knife and the die. The rotating knife system is covered by a secure housing to prevent accidents during the operation. This line is recommended to process the polymers that are sensitive to heat and non-sticky, for example, HDPE, PVC, TPE, and some biodegradable composite polymers. So now, let's take a closer look at the process operation. In this operation, we are using a 30mm single screw extruder and is connected to a 20-hole die face pelletizer. When the molten polymer comes out through the die plate, a high-speed pelletizing knife on the die surface cuts it into pellets using rotational force. The force of the pelletizing knife applied to the die plate can be adjusted by the knob at the rear of the face cutting housing. The fast rotating knife cuts the hot molten plastic into pellets, which then flung away from the knife by centrifugal force. The air stream then flows them upwards along the specially designed zigzag path of the pipe. This increases the cooling path for the pellet during transporting to the side lumps, where they naturally descend due to the gravities and collected. The speed of the rotating blades can be easily controlled at the control panel, making the machine a standalone unit adaptable to different extruder sizes. Using a hot die face pelletizer with an extruder can reduce the need of the water bath and also the thread pelletizer, which save a lot of space. It also avoids the problem of handling many molten strain and also prevents the strain breakage during the cooling phase. This is Slapdeck Engineering's die face pelletizer machine. If you need more information, you can email us at labdeck at labdeckengineering.com. You can also visit our website at worldwideweb.labtechengineering.com to learn more about our machine. Thank you very much for watching.